Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man, and this is my new friend, Raymond. We're in his incredible home theater. And so today in this video, we're gonna give you a complete tour of his setup. He's got a killer Polk Audio 7.2 system, and he's also got a suite set up downstairs that will give you a, a kind of a tour of that as well. And so man, if you love home theater, if you're passionate about audio and video, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I produce weekly content, usually two or three videos a week. And so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. All right, so with that said, let's get into the tour. Okay, as we come up the stair, we enter his theater room. The room measures 17 by 18 with eight foot ceilings. Up front, we've got two Polk Audio RTI A9 towers, and in the middle, we've got the CSI A6. And for surrounds, he has four Polk Audio in-ceiling RC80Is. To the left and right of the rear seat at the back of the room, he has two SVS PB12 Plus subwoofers. And for the projector, he has an Epson 4010 4K enhancement projector. The Epson is projecting onto a best choice 100 inch diagonal electric screen. And behind the screen, he has a 65 inch Sony 930E television. At the back of the room, holding most of the equipment is a Royal Racks 42U. At the top, we've got a handful of Blu-rays and 4K discs, but overall he has a collection of over a thousand Blu-rays that aren't shown here. Down below that, we have an eight port gigabit switch, a Homeworks Mediasonic digital tuner for watching TV on the projector, a Fire Cube, a Panamax MR5100 for power management, a Denon DNC 550R professional CD recorder, an Oppo 203 4K player, an Anthem AVM 60 processor, another Panamax, the M5300PM for power management. And to power his entire 7.2 system, we've got several Emotiva amplifiers. Up top, we've got the Emotiva XPA1 monoblock. Now that delivers 600 watts to the Polk Audio CSI A6 center channel. Below that, we have a pair of Emotiva XPA2 amplifiers. Now each one of these are bridged to provide 1,000 watts to each one of the Polk Audio RTI A9 towers up front. And below that we have the Emotiva Bass X A500, which feeds 80 watts to each one of his four surrounds. So to the left of the 42U rack, we have another smaller rack that has a security system. And for vinyl listening, he has an Audio-Technica AT LP120 record player. And at the bottom we have an old school Sony CDP CX355 300 CD changer. If you get hungry before the movie, we got plenty of snacks off to the side. A fridge stocked with drinks and this really sweet looking popcorn machine that matches the decor of the room. Now throughout the room, he has acoustic panels. Most of these are two foot by four foot about two inches thick with rock wool. And then each one of these are covered with some fabric that he picked up from Joanne's Fabric. In the back, we have corner blocks, base traps, some more acoustic panels, and the second SVS subwoofer. Above the front row, he has two of those same acoustic panels that he's secured to the ceiling. 
The rear seats are elevated on an eight inch riser that he hand built. And here's a few photos from that build. The room has three windows that are covered with curtains. And behind each curtain, we have additional acoustic panels. Now this not only serves as acoustic treatment to the room, but it also blocks exterior light from entering the room. All right guys, this is literally like one of the coolest parts I love about his setup. Now I've seen a lot of movie posters, but these movie posters are not like your typical movie posters because they're all completely backlit. And when I first walked into his room, I thought these were LCD panels. They looked that nice. And so here you can see we've got just magnetic sides. So you can open that up and we can pull uh, these out, remove them, swap them out. They're actually two-sided posters as well. And so he can easily change those out Guys, these are phenomenal. I'll definitely be linking these down in the description. You gotta check these out. They are really, really nice quality. And man, they look incredible. So here's what they look like with the lights off. Now, of course, when you're watching a movie, you're not gonna leave these on, but man, when you've got a guest coming over to check out your home theater, dude, these look phenomenal. I mean, the color in this is incredibly vibrant. Just look at how deep detailed these are. And when it's movie time, all we have to do is hit the switch. And before we head downstairs and check out his second home theater setup in the living room, take a look at his anime collection. In his living room setup downstairs, Raymond has a 9.2 system featuring a pair of Tekton Pendragon towers and matching center channel. Now each of these three speakers contains dual 10 inch woofers and a triple ring radiator HF array. For subwoofers, he has a pair of SVS PB2000s And in the rack, we have a Samsung 4K player, a Pioneer Elite SC-LX704 AVR, and this powers the surround back speakers and two outdoor speakers. He also has an Emotiva XPA5, which powers the center channel, two front height, as well as two surrounds. Also in the rack, we have a PS3, PS4, and Nintendo Wii for some gaming, and down on the bottom, we have a Crown XLI 3500. Now this amplifier is feeding the Tekton Pendragons with a thousand watts each. All right, guys, we have spent several hours at your home, man, and this has been incredible. 
Um, we've toured his home theater uh, downstairs. I really didn't get a chance to check that out and really dive into that in detail. And we didn't get a chance to demo that because we just spent way too much time up here just having fun, doing great demos. Um, Hulk was amazing. Tons of LFE. Um, the clarity on the Polk audio, they did a phenomenal job on that. Um, picture quality looked great. He's got um, a 4K enhancement, which was similar to the 5040 UB that I used to have. Um, I know you talked about you'd love to have a larger screen, but in the size of this room, you really can't go much larger with that. Uh, but one day, if you end up getting another home, a bigger home, and have yep. a dedicated space, he said he definitely would love to have even a bigger screen. Um, but man, thank you so much. Seriously, Absolutely. I want to come back. I want to come back again and check out those Tectons. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll have all of the links to all the products down in the description below. And as always, you guys be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.